Mr Anzini, what can you say on the first bit of interference that one we just identified? I think, if anything, I saw from as much as interference that he did. As you can see, I'm, I'm following Storm the Stars and the horse on my outside, Mr Donnelly. He's just started leaning to, to my filly. And as you can see, does I end up on the... He does, yes. Because it's all... So just identify where he interferes with you, please. As you can see, I'm, 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 I'm following the favourite, uh, Pat Cosgrave. Right. And as you can see there now, that horse starts leaning on me. And he ends up behind him, actually. And he puts me on the heels and the horse is in front of me. And I had to sort of switch that, otherwise I would have ended up on the on, the, on, the, so, Mr. on the hills. So, Mr Donny, anything else you want to add to that first instance? Well, sir, it's plain. It's, it's there on the video. Mr Zini's behind Mr Cosgrove. He doesn't have any room to go. I'm keeping a straight course as much as I can as possible. And Mr Zini switched out and has bumped my horse and took him off his line and took him his balance away. So I've seen anything the first one? No. Okay, so if we go to the second instant now, we'll just let it come back again. <clears throat> and the second instant that happens just about at the half furlong marker. Looking quite severely for the second time. Mr. Zini, what can you tell us about the second instant, please, at the half furlong marker? As you can see, sir, when I switched out, mm -hmm. I'm sort of far off the rail. Right. And the horse from my outside just kept leaning on me all the way. It actually gave me half a bump. Uh, as you can see there, we saw three off the rail and he keeps leaning on me, keeps leaning. Mine, mine, mine is a big filly, yeah. and he, you know, it's like a big cold sort of upside. As you can see there, he keeps pushing me. Uh, I end up from being four, four off the rail to sort of one off the rail. And my filly got a little bit unbalanced. I gave her a couple of, back, couple of smacks on my left hand. She did sort of lean on the horse on my right hand side. When I felt she was leaning, I put my stick down, I pulled it through, gave her a few more smacks on my right hand, and the best, the best horse won the race. I think if he was good enough, he had plenty of time to get by me, so I don't think I feel he would let it. Even if he went another love, I don't think he would have got by me. Okay. I think it was 50 50, sir. So. Thank you. Miss Lonnie, anything to react and respond to them? Has an incident occurred? Yes. Has it took me off a straight course? Yes. For the second time in the race, my horse has been, had received a severe bump, which has obviously taken his breath, knocked him off his stride and off his rhythm, and he's doing his best and trying his hard to get back at the filly that's. Obviously, has a weight allowance against him, but he's suffered interference and he's been beaten ahead on the line. We've received two incidents. Thank you. Uh, like I said, sir, I think he, he does the horse as bad as mine. He kept laying on me. And... Thank you. Have we any questions on the best oh, side? It's fine, thank you no, very much. Would you wait outside, both okay. of you, please? Thank you. Thanks.